Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and if you didn't check out the last video, uh, we just jump back and get uh, see that video on how to create this class human inside of JavaScript 6. So we're going to make a child class of this class now. Uh, so we're going to inherit from this class in, in this video. So we're going to create a class called person. And the way that you inherit from a parent class or you inherit from a class is extends. Uh, and then you just type in the class name, extends human. So class person, extends human. You create a constructor as normal. And you pass in uh, the same arguments, or you can pass in extra arguments. So I'm going to do constructor with a name and an age on this one. And to call a parent constructor, in many sites online, they have it all wrong. They just keep saying constructor. What they're leaving out, I, I saw like six sites or so that just said constructor. I, I figured out, I mean, quite easily that uh, it was just missing super in front. So what you need to do is do super dot constructor. Pass in the name there. And then we're going to do this dot age is equal to age. So we have uh, set up our constructor. We've called our parent constructor, passed in the name. It works uh, as default. And we're going to override this toString function with a new toString function. So we're going to say two string, spelled the same way. And what we're going to do is return super dot two string. So we're returning the parent class's two string. And then we're going to add in uh, the age. So uh, we're going to say I am a person and my age is this dot age and let's add in a period at the end so now when we create a person and we do to string it should say hello my name is uh, the person's name I am a person and my age is and then print out the age so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of this jump back to our nightly build of uh, Firefox paste it in let it go there should be no errors it should say undefined here so now I'm gonna say var uh, m equals new person. I'm going to pass in Brent and 24. So now if I say m dot to string, it should say, hello, my name is Brent. I am a person. My age is 24. So now we have extended the class and uh, we're going to go even further and we're going to extend this class as well. So let's jump back and we're going to do class child extends uh, person so we're extending the person in this case so uh, uh, now we have human we have person who extends human and now we have child that extends person so we're gonna create the constructor as normal so constructor uh, name age uh, for this one as well and we're going to do super dot constructor name age nothing else because the uh, person will take care of the rest and then we're going to override the two string yet again so two string return super dot two string so it should return this one's two string which means it returns the parents two string so uh, we're returning all the two strings together and I'm going to put in uh, plus I am or I consider I consider Let's see, consider myself a child. There we go. So, let's not save. Uh, so return super to string, I consider myself a child. So all in all, it should say, hello, my name is name. I am a person, my age is age. I consider myself a child. So if I copy everything in here, I go back. I don't really have to copy everything. I could just copy child, but uh, there we go. Uh, reference person. I did, I, lower, I did a lowercase p. Do an uppercase p here. Now we'll copy it. Come back and paste it all. We'll get undefined. I'm going to say var c equals new child. And the name is going to be uh, guy. Yeah, guy. His age will be 15. No, nah, his age will be 35. So then we'll do c dot two string. And it'll say, hello, my name is Guy. I am a person, and my age is 35. I consider myself a child. 
So that's how we do inheritance and multiple inheritance, uh, not multiple inheritance, sorry, uh, how we can inherit from other things that have been inherited. It is not multiple inheritance uh, for those of you who know C++. Um, so there we go. We have uh, we've vastly covered inheritance and overriding uh, parent methods as well as calling parent methods uh, inside of the child methods. So uh, in the next video, we're going to go over getters and setters. Uh, because now we have classes, we also have getters and setters. So I'll see you in that video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.